is William Cowling from Ruby Vlogs. I'm super excited. My Heritage DNA, yes, that is a DNA arm of my heritage, have sent me my official Eurovision DNA kit. It's in this box. Let's open it real quick. Oh my god, there she is. It's got some fun facts on the back from Eurovision. We've got this gorgeous Eurovision singer slaying the guitar. Ooh, I cannot wait. Okay, the kit is here. I've heard it plays music. Wait, it's supposed to play music. Give me that Eurovision theme! Oh my goodness, the show is about to begin. Look, I really wanted to do this test because I want to know what flavors and spice I have in my DNA. My mom is from Vietnam, Southeast Asian realness, but there's a lot of intermixing Chinese, Cambodians, Laotians. We are all in the same pot. We're dipping in, we're dipping out. I want to know what's in her past and what's in mine. My daddy was real, real white. He had some European realness in him. Irish, I think he had red hair. But we didn't really talk about his past or like his parents or grandparents. So hopefully this will give me some kind of clue about that part of my family. I cannot wait to do this. It's super easy. Oh, banging. Oh, the batteries. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually swab each cheek. I read the instructions in advance, that's why I know. So, you just take these little sticks, you swab the right cheek, and you twirl while you swirl, yes, I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna take the other one and go, yes, do the same thing. And you put them in these little vials. All right, I'm starting with my right cheek. Mmm, yes. All right, here goes. Take a day. Into my eyes, yeah, the eyes of the lightness Feel the power, they in light mm. I was looking for some high, high highs, yeah Till I got it, does it, yo Okay So, dip it in Break it off Screw it on Get ready to slay. Alright, we're gonna do that again. Excellent. That is two. I got my two vials. I see 22. DNA, I think of you. And all you do now is stick them in this little biohazard bag on the white cloth. Y'all better stick it on that white cloth. We don't want no spills, okay? Put that in there, on the white cloth. Then I have this envelope. You can use the coupon ESC Wee Wee. Get yourself some free shipping, okay? That's ESC Wee Wee. <laughs> and then you just mail it off to my heritage and you wait for your results. If you, oh, if you want your own DNA kit, you can get your own limited edition Eurovision DNA kit. The link is below in this YouTube video. We're gonna come back together soon when I have my results and we'll film the other half. So a few weeks are gonna go by. I might have different hair by then. Uh, so stay tuned. Can't wait to share with you. See you later. Bye! <laughs> my My Heritage DNA results are here! I should also just point out that any opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. Alright, so I got an email saying that my results are ready, and there's a little intro video I can play, and it's gonna reveal everything. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, let's go! William, you are... <laughs> yes! Majority Asian, honey! I thought that was the case! This music is banging. Oh, wow! Irish, Scottish, Welsh, no English! I thought it was gonna be English. Oh, land of Salvador Sobral, Iberian, honey, 8.3%, yes! 
Oh wow, I have Melody Festival in me, Scandinavian. That is Norway and Sweden, honey, that map, yes. Three more ethnicities. Oh wow, okay, here we go. Let's just take it from the top. 52.2% Chinese and Vietnamese, so this doesn't surprise me. My mother's from Vietnam, her parents are Vietnamese. I'm pretty sure that that's mostly Vietnamese. I bet the Chinese part of that's much smaller. Um, but it's good to have confirmation. My mama is my mama. And also, I'm surprised that more than 50% of my DNA is Asian, because like my dad has, well as far as I know, he had no Asian in him. He was very pale with red hair, um, so that, yeah, I guess DNA, I'll have to do my research, because I don't know how that works out, but that's real, real interesting. 21.3% um, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. See, I would have assumed it was English, because Adams, it just sounds like my father's surname, sounds so English, um, but yeah, he was, he had red hair, and he was super tall, so I guess the Irish makes sense, the Scottish makes sense. I love Welsh accents. Oh my goodness. Have y'all seen Gavin and Stacey? Rowena, hello, we're going to the movies. Do you want to come over tomorrow? I love how Welsh people roll those R's. They slay. 8.3% Iberian. Honey, this explains my love of Portuguese music. Izora, yes, that garden. Oh, Jardim, yes. Um, oh. Golden Osiris. I really feel a connection to that kind of traditional sound, the Fado sound. Maybe it's literally in my roots. It's like in my DNA. Three more ethnicities. Okay, so I think I can find, ah, view full ethnicity estimate. Oh, okay, so interesting. My Asian DNA actually goes up to 56% when we look at this, because there is some Filipino, Indonesian, and Malay. Buku buku imi, buku bi, buku buku, Itu, say I'm in Japoko. I went backpacking in Borneo, picked up a little, it came very naturally. So maybe again, I felt a deeper connection inside of me. Ah, okay, and if we drill down in Europe, I see there is some English, 5.7%. Like I've ended up in this country, like I live in London, and how nice to know that a part of me is actually English. It's funny, in America, when you're growing up, you're always reading about kings and queens, and now I can like claim some kind of distant lineage. That's very cool. So what's really cool with my heritage is you can also then look at kind of DNA matches around the world, and I'm scrolling through, and there are already six matches. I've got first cousin once removed, who's got like 4% of my DNA, oh my goodness. I've got, um, oh wow, I've got a first cousin, a first cousin. I've got lots of cousins who I've never heard heard of in this database. This is bananas and look they they have similar names as people in my family and also they kind of that lady looks just like one of my aunts. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Uh, and also it just shows how connected we are. The my heritage DNA results also give you a list of all the countries in the world where you have people with DNA matches. And this is so interesting to me that you can share DNA with someone literally in a country you've never visited, on the other side of the world, because like we're all kind of connected. It's actually really Eurovision when you think about it. Building bridges, coming together, people from all over the world who are like connected and may not even know it, but like we can all watch Eurovision at the same time, talk about it on Monday morning at the water cooler. This has given me all the feels. So I have matches 2,083 in the United States, 248 in Great Britain, 74 in Australia, Kate Miller High Key, I knew we had a connection girl, and also Canada 54, so yeah, that's all like Anglo or English speaking countries, and then we've got Germany 49, New Zealand 40, Sweden 25, the Netherlands 23, ooh, ooh la la, I got some French y'all, ooh la la. I think it's so remarkable DNA spreads all over the place, but when you think about it, it makes sense because people meet in the most crazy locations. Like my parents met in Vietnam during the war. My mother was this gorgeous young thing on the streets of Saigon. My dad was a soldier. They fell in love during hardship, troubled times. They had some babies and bam, here I am. And now I live in England and so in theory, my DNA, if I were to reproduce here, could spread to the UK. You just see how global and interconnected 
all of our stories are really because when you look into your past there are people who have crossed oceans people who have survived wars people who have been displaced and yet life goes on and new life emerges it's just Again, giving me all the feels like Renata and Melody Festival. I have got that beat, that heartbeat of humanity. So my heritage is all about connecting families and celebrating cultural diversity. And so A, that makes them the perfect sponsor for Eurovision because like, hello, Eurovision's bringing all these contestants, singers, and fans together. And B, it also makes them perfect for like a partnership with WeWe Blogs, our website, because our bloggers are from all over the world, our readers are from all over the world, our viewers here on YouTube. And also just for me personally, I love that they're celebrating cultural diversity because that completely relates to me and my own history. So look, this test only took me two minutes and I've already found DNA matches all over the world and I've already learned more about my personal history and like my ethnic makeup. If you wanna have the same adventure, the same amount of fun and like learn all these things about yourself, all you have to do is order a MyHeritage DNA kit from MyHeritage. We've got some links in the description box below. And also, you can get a free shipping coupon using the code ESCWEEWEE. That's ESCWEEWEE. In any case, that's my heritage, and those are my heritage DNA results. What are yours? I'd love to hear what you've discovered about your past. Maybe we're DNA matches. If so, send me a DM. In any case, we'll see you later.